Okay, this we are gonna um, this tutorial we're gonna talk about the web or the Woo Commerce, which is your store, which is the main engine that runs all of your products. So I go down here, I can hit Woo Commerce, and here it is. You go to your general tab, it immediately pulls it up, and here's all your information about your store, um, your your country, currency, allowed countries. Um, you know, check in, check out, all these. You can just read all through these, and you really can't mess anything up. Um, your minimum allowed quantities, your maximum. It, the reason we're not using this is we're putting in a min and a max on a specific product, not the overall cart. So that's why we left that empty. Your share ID, which we're not using, and then here's that Google Analytics. That's where we put that in for all the tracking. If we go to pages, what this is doing is saying, hey, Where's the shop at? And so remember our shop's at buy a shirt, help a vet. But you can check where this, you can just say, this is where my I want the shop to go. So that's where we set it. What we're gonna title it, all products. This is just talks about how your links look. And then this was just laying out pages. Where's the cart page? It's cart. Where's the checkout page? It's called checkout. And so this just laid out, letting them know where to put certain code. You don't have to mess with that. Here's the category, or the catalog. Um, this is all about SKU numbers, weights, pricing, how you want all that to lay out, how big the image, product images, you can change all of that. Your inventory. This is to manage your stock inventory. Um, so if you're wanting to say, uh, I want it to tell me when it gets low, I want it to tell me when it's out of stock. So you would just enable this and then you could enable, I want to know when it's low, I want to know when it's out. So you can put a low threshold of you know whatever it is in an out um, threshold. So when it will will tell you, it'll email you and say, "Hey, we're out of this product. We need to order it." Here's the out of stock. If you want to hide when an item comes out of stock or not, Just make sure you save the changes. Shipping. Uh, this enables shipping if you want to track shipping and if you want to enable them getting charged for shipping. Same with your taxes, all that information you can put in. Shipping methods, um, how you want to ship it, pricing, all of that, free shipping. Your payment gateways, how you accept payments. Right now we're doing, um, this is enabled check. We're doing a check payment um, and where they can send the check payment. So that's a check in French. So. It, Um, in the address, I'm going to save changes. And then PayPal, enable PayPal, what it's going to say, where the PayPal is going, send shipping details, enable the sandbox, everything like that. And then the emails, which I've just said is general. When somebody buys something, it's going to come from this, where your new order is going to go to info, inventory info when you send an email out, when the store does, who it comes from, the email it comes from. And then this is your template of what it looks like. You can preview it and you can change it uh, by going into it's showing you where to go on the server and your header and all your text if you want to change what the email looks like that it comes from you. And we can we can we can change all that. Um, so that's the that's the basic of all the settings uh, of your store.